The value of ecosystems constitutes a human well-being and that a healthy ecosystem contributes to a healthy human population. They contribute in terms of provisions, regulation, supporting systems and culture. Provisions such as food come directly from the ecosystem and wood for construction of fire. Some are sustainable, but others are exhaustible. We can put a value on these goods. Regulation services function the earth systems such as the conversion of CO2 to oxygen by photosynthesis of plant life, but also via protection from natural disaster. Culture services are given via enjoyment from recreational activities, but also aesthetics and spiritualism. A third of the earth's land surface is forest. Tropical forests lie between 23 degrees north and south of the equator and have the highest biodiversity of any biome which is valuable for tourism. Wood is a product but it causes deforestation to it like in the Amazon. Temperate climates can contain deciduous and evergreen trees and have rainfall amounts of about 90 to 240 centimetres annually. Logging for timber is reduced quite dramatically like in the UK whereas farmland was needed in the 15th century. Taiga or boreal forests are the largest terrestrial biome on earth and they occur 50 degrees north. Short wet summers make the ground marshy. This biome is also at risk from overlogging in Canada, parts of Russia and northern Europe. A coastal ecosystem is that part of the land most affected by its proximity to the sea, and that part of the ocean most affected by its proximity to land. Coastal ecosystems provide various goods and services. Goods include fish as a source of food, salt, genetic resources for breeding, construction materials, and provides water in arid areas. Services include protection from storm impacts, recreation, employment and habitats for the wildlife. This type of ecosystem filters pollutants, protects the shorelines from erosion and acts as a major carbon sink and oxygen source. The lack of water in a desert has led to a massive sparse of life. This has led to an extensively adapted ecosystem both physiologically and behaviourally. Many plants have unique metabolic pathways to conserve water. The kangaroo rat in the North American desert never drinks due to getting water from the breakdown of fats. To lessen the need for water, many desert animals are also nocturnal. A mountain ecosystem can be defined in terms of slope, altitude, elevation and proximity to oceans. Goods include water, timber, a rich diversity and sceneries which attract tourism. 500 million people worldwide live in mountain ecosystems. Examples include Nepal, Ethiopia and Peru, some of the poorest countries in the world. Tundra means treeless plain. It features short, shrubby vegetation that is adapted to cold temperatures and little precipitation. There is minimal light in winter and a short growing season in the summer. It's the last biome before the barren ice fields of the Arctic. There is a constant frozen layer of ground known as permafrost. Baffin Island in Canada is the second largest island in the Arctic and is completely covered in tundra biome. Iceland has some tundra as well, near the Kalingafell mountain range. Marine ecosystems of the open ocean where massive shoals of fish are found. This is valuable as of the fishing industry in the North Sea for both Britain and Norway. They are also massively valuable because of the gas and oil fields here. Welling is a huge problem in the North Sea and a motive issue, but it provides jobs so there are also problems here. The grassland biome includes savannas, prairies and steeps. They feature few widely spaced groups of trees with vast scopes of grasses, tall in tropical and temperate areas and short grasses in semi-arid regions. The most prominent grasslands are the open fields of southern Africa and the prairies of North America which cover 600,000 acres. Rainfall in these areas is between 35 and 125 cm annually, but the rainfall is concentrated in one wet season followed by a dry season. In the dry season, lightning sparks fires that burn the plants above the ground. They leave the roots remaining so that they can grow back in the next summer season. Freshwater ecosystems are created by water that has entered the terrestrial environment as precipitation and flows both below and above ground towards the sea. Rivers, lakes and wetlands are all examples of freshwater ecosystems. Goods include water for human use, fish as a food source and hydropower. 12% of all animals live in fresh water. This type of ecosystem can filter pollution and maintain water quality, provide employment and tourism, and can even act as a flood control. Freshwater ecosystems occupy 0.8% of the Earth's surface.
Ecosystems are very important to provide us with all the resources we need to live, and if we continue to damage them we will struggle to survive on the limited source resources remaining. It's important to educate and teach about ecosystems and biodiversity so that we do not impact them as much and we learn to live alongside them for the future.